welcome back everybody and welcome to the start of a new build new build and it is a totally this is going to be a totally new build because these are prototype molds now these prototype molds were sent to me by diorama debris and they asked me if i could do some casting make something with it and give them a little bit of feedback which i'm going to do now we'll have a look at the parts now they sent me three molds all together uh, one of the molds was the actual seals which we will look at a bit later on when we're ready to fit them because uh, there's no point in looking at them now so the main ones are we have an english bond wall section with a window opening uh, a space at the bottom for a sill and we've got a half arch at the top and this centre bit is a knockout panel. It keeps everything stable. Why we get it built, then it's knocked out for putting the winds in. So that's the window opening. And also we have a door opening, which is exactly the same. We have a space at the bottom for a sill. We have the uh, half arched at the top. It's in English bond. And we also have a knockout section. Now, what are we going to build now i will just remove them for a well no I'll, I'll, I'll explain what we're going to build what we're actually going to build uh is a front of a building not a full building <coughs> excuse me now what i would like to be able to build is a front like so with a gable end on this side and if I just move them out of the way just for a second and bring a magic piece of paper in because paper is better what I'm planning to do is to have a base right so and then actually put the front at angle like so so this is going to be uh, the front of the building and then this is going to be the side now it may be cut down to about that much the reason being because all my builds that I actually do for my channel normally end up getting wrapped up in uh, bubble wrap and they get put on the shelf and I don't really use them because I'm not really building them uh, for myself so I've come up with a plan with another modeler. Now the other modeler is called Bees Beasley. Now Bees Beasley is a fantastic figure painter. And if you haven't uh, seen Bees's channel, excuse me, uh, that's his little emblem uh, to his channel. And he does a lot of figure painting and very good. He's very, very good. So we've come up with a plan. Uh, he's got quite a lot of figures. And he's got, uh, I think it's a horse and cart with a nun on it, would you believe? And he's got uh, British, or British or American troops coming out, carrying a child and helping a woman out. And we've this is the reason why this design has come about. So he can actually put the cart down the side and have the figures coming out the front. So that's going to be the basis the whole build on it and this is going to be an open side as well uh, i will be putting a floor in this section uh, inside and doing the normal stuff of uh, uh, wallpaper uh, and all bits and pieces like that but it will be an open sided uh, diorama so that's the plan on what we're actually going to build now Let's talk about the English bond. Now, the English bond is quite a difficult bond. We'll bring these back in. And English bond is quite, it's quite difficult, especially if you don't know much about brickwork and bricklaying and things like that. Uh, the English bond can be a little bit 
uh, daunting at times. Now, what I'm going to try and do is, as I'm building section by section, is to roughly run through what I'm doing on each section to give you a general idea on using the English bond sections. Now, the English bond sections that I'm using, uh, them, the molds are made by Diorama Debris. And if you've already got this particular mold, you know that it comes in, there's two molds, and you get a left hand and a right hand. And it starts getting confusing because they won't interlock with each other unless you're using the right bits. So hopefully I can explain, uh, well, enlighten you a little bit on, on the English bond as we go through this build. If you really want to know about it all in one big chunk, I did do a video uh, a while ago on the English bond and I tried to explain how it worked. Now I will put a link at the end of this video so you can go and have a look. So all that out of the way, we know which direction we're going in. So let's crack on and let's get this build done. Now, before we get stuck into the build, we'll just have a quick look at the English bond uh, molds and the sections. Now, when you buy the English mold uh, sections, you get two molds and you get a left hand and a right hand mold. Now, we'll do it just as we need them. Now, it doesn't matter which way you put these two sections, they won't join. It, it, they're, just, they're just not going to work together because these two molds don't work together. They work individually. So we just move these molds out of the way for a second. So we've got our left and we've got our right. And these are our sections that we want to be building on. Now, the easiest way is to offer one up. Now, we offer that one up, and it's just, it's not going to work against that. So, it's got to be the right hand, and there we go, it slots straight in. And it runs proper courses. Uh, we've got a stretcher at the bottom, then we've got a header, then a stretcher course, and they all match in. So, we know the right hand box is the box that we're going to be using to build this front so it makes life a little bit easier for you now stuff i've got my right hand box in front of me because i already know which one i'm going to be using so we're going to build a section at a time so this ground the first section we're actually building i want to space this out a little bit so they already, in the mould, they already do a, uh, a spacing section of uh, two bricks, which is ideal. So one of them is going to fit in, and the second one goes in like so. Now that gives us our width of our building. Now, this end, I'm going to extend it out by... Uh, a brick. The simple reason is I'll be extending this end out so I want to keep everything equal So and also I'm going to leave it on as brickwork finished I say how it's going to finish should I say on the end of the diorama. Now this end is going to be the return to the gable end and they actually make it, well, it, you actually produce in the mould an actual corner and this will slot into that corner which allows you then to turn uh, when we get to that section I'll, I'll explain how it all works but for the moment we're just working from one box and that's the right handed box and we've got the actual front done to how we need it we need to cut some small sections to go up there from uh, 
the same box uh, that's the wrong hand you see I've got I've got myself muddled up here now uh, here was that one so there we go I shall just cut one what's that eight courses I should just cut a bit eight courses and we'll put into there a bit into there and the same with there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them and now uh, also I'm going to turn this whole lot over face down because I want the brickwork to be nice and flush and I'm going to glue them all together and leave them to dry because we actually need to make two of these up we need to make one for the front and one for the back but I will run through that with you when I'm when we're ready to do it so I'm going to get on with that get it all glued up and I should be back with you in a second now I have all my sections all my bits cut and I have all the sections I've turned them over and face down now all I've done is put a piece of cling film down this is just to stop anything from sticking down it just makes life a little bit easier so all I'm going to do now is now I've got these all face down is I'm just going to glue them all together and using my square to keep everything nice and square so straightforward as that so I'm going to get on I'm going to get these glued together and we're back with you in a little while okay I've glued all my sections together as you can see and I've been a little bit overzealous with the pushing and I've broken one of the panels in the middle but not to worry because it's a push out panel so they're all glued together they're all square with with my square now I'm going to leave them to dry and uh, I'll be back shortly and we'll take a look okay now it's had about 10-15 minutes drying time now what I'm going to do I'm just going to use the cling film and I'm just going to lift that off there and lay it onto another flat surface so I can get on with the next one now we're moving on to the first floor section now there's only two windows in there so we're missing a door so this will actually take a full right section to uh, to fill the gap in but a full section doesn't quite fill it we need a one course spacer as well to bring that to the size we want uh, trust me it's true I, I have a work, worked all this out and now I'm just going to run through exactly what I did with the bottom we do the cuts for the top like so that small cut in there the ends like so and this end as well so that is all the pieces required to do that top section and just to prove that it is right that is a mock-up of the bottom section which fits just there so we've got two windows at the top with a brick section in the middle now i'm going to do exactly the same as what i did on the lower half i'm going to get them all glued together on a piece of uh, cling film so it can be lifted out of the way and we can move on to the next section okay this is the first floor it's been drying for 10-15 minutes so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lift it up move it away so we can get, actually get on now with the gable end two sections they're dry and I've put them together in my square because we need now to build this gable side now it's not actually going well no it's not going to be a gable side uh, because the windows have thrown up a few issues now we built this side using the right hand box so what I've got here I've got a right handed uh, panel with the add-on section to turn the corner now if we turn that round and offer that up that will actually fit but the problem being now is if you look at the bottom you've got a stretcher course then the stretcher course runs into a header course 
which it wouldn't happen. Then the next course is a header course and then it runs into a stretch course. So by turning it round, it just throws all the bond out. So we'll just dispose of that for a second and bring in the left hand. Now the left hand section fits in like so and if you can actually see now is that it's a stretcher and a stretcher runs all the way through. Now the reason that's the reason why they have the two moulds is to keep all the bond correct uh, for the purists who are building and who really want it to be 100% and that's what makes it 100% having the two moulds so all the bond stays in in line that's it so hopefully I've explained that little corner bit and the reason why we that there's a left and a right-handed mould and now we can get on with actually making this side now I'm gonna do I'm gonna make sections exactly the same as what I did that side and this is going to be three sections which I'm gonna put face down again glue them together and it's well two and a half high I've already got them ready so put that one on there and then there's a half or 16 courses on the top. Now, this being a prototype mould, I did want to put a window in here, but it throws up a difficulty because we put the windows and the doors in and they were right handed, the left handed side. We can't fit a door or a window in this wall. So when the diorama debris come to actually producing this, these windows and doors, there's going to be two moulds. There's going to have to be a left-handed mould and a right-handed mould, uh, so that you can actually put windows in the left-hand side. Uh, yeah, the left-hand side as well as the right-hand side. So that's the first note that. Uh, I've marked down for the diorama debris that they're going to have to do a left hand and a right hand for this. Because I wanted to put a window in this side and we can't, I've having to change the plan a little bit, only slightly. So, what we will be doing, and I can find a piece of paper, there we go, is the building's going to come like so that's going to be the corner of the building and instead of doing a gable end coming up we're actually going to do a roof that goes from corner to corner like so so this is going to allow me then to keep the diorama down as well in height wise so just make sure that you understand we've got windows there with a door that's the bottom, that's going to be the side and the roof is going to come from that corner and it's going to slope in to the centre of the roof very much like a pyramid well it is like a pyramid that's the way it's going to be so that's the way, that's the way I'm going to go now instead of doing a gable end so we, we need to keep that all the same level so that's my first section and what I'm going to do now is turn that over, glue it together. I'm going to do that section and that section and then I'll come back to you. Okay, we've got uh, the side wall all yeah, that's dry, it's assembled, well not actually glued together but because we're going to be needing to back this wall up and back this one up. So all the front now is done. Now I'm going to end the video here. Uh, for the simple reason is we're up to about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and I don't want to bore you to death. So, on the next video, we'll actually be backing both of these walls up and actually assembling it into a actual structure. So, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me, and hopefully, I will see you on the next one.